The further you go in life, towards your endeavor, towards your dream, the, pull, the harder that pull is. Because the world's gonna tell you, you're fine where you're at. Oh, I wish you were you. I wish I was you. I wish I had what you have. Ah. Why are you working so hard? You already have, no, 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 no. I walk in the door, right? The current Bobby, current Bobby is right behind me. The better than, than yesterday Bobby, the one who wants to be elite. Hey Bobby, thank you for having us today down at uh, Ultimate Muscle Confusion. Uh, my first question for you today is how did you get involved in the fitness uh, realm or environment? So I've been, fitness has been part of who I am at my core since I was eight years old. Um, I, I grew up striving to be a football player. So, the, so my foundation of the dream of being fit was, was based toward uh, a goal an idea, a vision of playing football professionally. So I played in high school, I played football in college at UC Davis and, and pursued a dream of professional football for a short period of time. Uh, like most athletes, that ended. So ironically, I went into finance, got an MBA in finance and pursued a corporate uh, career for about a decade, right, uh, of high, exec high executive, uh, finance functions, VP of finance, CFOs of startups. My passion for helping people eventually came back. That was the core of what I wanted to do as a little kid, was use football initially, but use who I was as a person to help people, to, to motivate and inspire people to be healthy. My mom passed away when I was young, uh, which further pushed me toward this. And so all of that, from being a young kid, wanting to play sports, wanting to use that, that platform to help people has, has put in me a seed that I tried to diminish for a little bit in finance, but uh, inevitably God brought it back to me and the universe brought it back to me. And now for five years, I've been able to get back to, to what I love doing, which is using fitness and health to help motivate and inspire people in all realms of life. That's awesome. Uh, my next question for you is at this point in your fitness career, what keeps you going? I mean, I know you're up at 4, 4.30 in the morning and you're here by 6 a.m. to open the facility. Yeah. I personally have taken some of those classes yeah. and, and, and I'm, it's hard for me to show up at that time. You show up and you're ready to, to lead by example. What in you or what, where do you get that power from, that energy from? Yeah, so I believe, I believe we, have, we have a dream, all of us have a vision, have, have, have tools and gifts that God gave us. And so I have a, I have a video, I have a saying that, that the alarm, the alarm wakes me up. Like the alarm wakes everybody up. But your passion, your dream, your vision gets you up out of bed. So the alarm goes off for all of us, right? What you do from that point until you come back home is driven or not driven by what you, what's inside of you. And for me, the, the ability to have people come back 20 years later and remember who I was back then, the ability to have a five-year-old girl, girl who's in my class for sports embrace fitness, the ability to connect with my children and my wife and people of all ages, that's, that's inside of me. That's a passion that I wake up with. So whether it's real estate, whether it's uh, 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 being a chef, whether it's being a lawyer, we have something inside of us that, that's, that, that's a seed that was given to us. And if you feed that, you will find that that gets you up. And so once I found that what I was really meant to do and be was a fitness motivator, it was easy to get up. And so, and so that's what gets me up. It's my passion to help and inspire and motivate people. So you're a very, very blessed man to have that at this point in your fitness career. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you're doing for the youth in the community, i.e. coaching, uh, some of your fitness classes you're offering. Yeah, sure. So, so again, my foundation was football. So sports development, sports training has always been part of what I did. I trained Oak Grove High School when I was fresh out of college back in the 90s. I've trained high school athletes ever since then. So when I got back into to doing general health and general fitness and boot camps and one-on-one -on -one and private sessions, uh, the, the, the sports training part never left me. And because of that, because I do sports training, that often involves youth, right? And what I find is that it's the easiest way to get to the soul and mind of a young athlete or young person is to use health and fitness and sports. So I will never get away from sports training. Not because I, I love sports, that's part of it, but it allows me to teach kids other things about life, 
right? Football, basketball, baseball, softball, all those things give, give kids lessons and tools that in a lot of ways they don't even get connected to because of the coaches around them. So I feel it's, it's my obligation to use my background, to use how I look, how I sound, how I talk, what I can do physically as, as an avenue, as a bridge to teach young people, especially lessons about growth, about life, about their own personal brand. So I'm involved with, with training high schools. I, I just finished training Pioneer football. I finished training Saratoga basketball. I, I'll train any high school team. I'll train any Pop Warner team. I train my son's Pop Warner team. I do a youth class here in the summer. So if you go to my website, umcbootcamp.com, you'll see what I'm involved with. You follow me on Instagram or Facebook. I'm always involved with some group or team right. at a youth level. If the community wanted to find you and, and either get signed up for your classes or one of your youth classes, where can they find you again? So my physical location, yeah. I, have a, I, have a, I have a boot camp location, a gym, if you will. I'm here Monday through Friday at varying times at 474 Piercy Road in San Jose. We're inside the San Jose batting cages, which is inside of the family community church structure. Uh, find me on Facebook, find me on Instagram under Coach Bobby Bluford. That's Coach Bobby Bluford. Uh, YouTube as well. You can find videos to motivate you, to inspire you, to follow along workouts. Uh, so social media, and then physically, uh, 474 Piercy Road in San Jose. There you have it, folks. I physically have trained here at Bobby's facility for the last two months. Um, and I can tell you that uh, at this point in, the, in my fitness career, I needed somebody to definitely push me and give me the extra uh, motivation and commitment. And, and I wanted to train with someone that had passion. And that's what I get here at this facility. So I stand behind the, the Bobby Blueford coaching program. I stand behind uh, Ultimate Muscle Confusion. So if you're looking for a facility to train at, definitely reach out to Bobby. Uh, he'll get you in shape and get you looking right for summer. Thank you and have a great day. The further you go in life, towards your endeavor, towards your dream, the, the harder that pull is. Cause the world's gonna tell you, you're fine where you're at. Oh, I wish you were you. I wish I was you. I wish I had what you have. Ah. Why are you working so hard? You already, no, 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 no. I walk in the door, right? The current Bobby, current Bobby is right behind me. The better than, than yesterday Bobby, the one who wants to be elite, the one who wants to, wants to lead people to be great. He comes in first, ready to fight. But right behind me, is average Bobby, is Bobby from yesterday, who says you're fine, you're, you're, you're fine where you're at, be content. He's right behind me.